All right, in this video, I'm going to do an example of a word problem involving some inequalities. So suppose we've got a, a, a widget factory, um, so whatever the heck a widget is, but suppose a factory is making something, and they've got a fixed operating cost of $3,600 a day, uh, plus costs, it costs $1.40 for them to make a widget. Suppose they can sell these things for $4.20 each, and we want to know what's the least number of these uh, these things, these widgets, mu must they sell a day in order to make a profit? Okay, so a couple different ways, you know, maybe you could go about approaching this, but I think the basic idea, really, to get started here, you know, in order to make a profit, to me it says your revenue or your profit. Um, Revenue uh, that to me must be greater than your um, costs. If you're going to make a profit, um, if it was equal to, then you're exactly breaking even. So I'm going to say it's got to be strictly greater. Um, well, let's think about the revenue. You know, so so if you're selling these objects, suppose um, we say uh, we'll let just to define our variables, let's let x be the uh, number of widgets sold. Okay, so since we're selling them for four dollars and twenty cents each, your profit would be four twenty uh, times x. You just multiply the the price you earn, right? We get four twenty for each one. We're going to multiply that by the number sold, and that would give us uh, our, our revenue. Well, our costs we know that we've got to pay $3,600 a day. Maybe they're renting a big factory, um, you know, electricity, etc. But then they also have costs. I mean, if you're making, you know, if you're making an object, there's certainly uh, costs involved in making those. And they cost $1.40 per each widget produced. So now the idea is I've, I've got a nice little inequality set up that I can hopefully solve without too much trouble. So it says we have 4.20 times x, and that's going to be greater than, we want that to be greater than 3600 plus 1.40x. So I'm going to subtract off uh, the 1.40x from both sides. So uh, $4.20, if we take away $2.40, uh, I think I said $4.20, take away $1.40, uh, that's going to be 280. And again, that needs to be uh, now bigger than 3,600. And now I'm just going to divide both sides by 2.80, 2.80. This to me um, now pretty much gets us there. So I'm going to use a calculator here. Uh, 3,600 divided by 2.80. I'm getting 128.57. Okay, so now this is obviously where we have to interpret things a little bit, you know. Assumingly, you know, you can only make a whole number of objects. So it, it, it basically says you have to make 1,285.71 or more. So to me, that would tell me that we would have to really make, you know, 1,286 um, or more widgets uh, to make a profit.